guys welcome to our channel 3 minutes master where you can learn any concept in 3 minutes in this video i want to give you a basic idea regarding factorial program in c using recursion so what actually is a factorial we all know a factorial of a number is defined as a product of all positive integers below n up to 1 for example factorial of n is denoted with n exclamatory symbol that is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into so on up to 1 for example consider an example for finding the four factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 it is 24 now the program for factorial can be done with a particular method called recursion so what actually recursion refers to the process of calling a function itself is called recursion and the function which calls itself is called as recursive function i will explain this particular concept with uh, an example that is recursion method for finding the factorial it is a two step process in the step 1 if at all we need to find the factorial of a given value that is either 0 or 1 it returns 1 in the step 2 it returns the current value into the function of the decremented of value of the current value that is if at all we need to find the factorial of x it returns x into factorial of x minus 1 and the actual process goes like this uh, for example uh, f a c of 3 is required so it calls the function step 2 will be executed what happens here is 3 into factorial of decremented value of 3 that is 2 again f a c of 2 function will be called again step 2 will be executed that is 2 into fac of 1 again fac of 1 is called now step 1 is executed what happens if step 1 is executed is it returns 1 so this particular one is stored in fac of 1 now 2 into 1 is further returned to fac of 2 now 3 into fac of 2 that is 6 is returned to fac of 3 and it is the final result now coming to the top program here we need to find the factorial of x for this we have written a user defined function called facd of x this facd of x is a recursive function right now two steps are involved here in the first step you can see if x double equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 it returns 1 or else step 2 will be executed it returns x into fact of x minus 1 so this process repeats until and unless x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 value is reached and the result will be sent to y thank you thanks for watching this video